So what we're going to talk about during this short video is uh, the stress strain model of steel and different ways that we can actually, I guess, idealize or, you know, use this model. Uh, so if we remember back at, um, our stress strain shape from last video, we have an elastic region, we have a yield plateau, and then a strain hardening region before we fail. Uh, so this model, you know, can be a, a bit complex to use in this form. So there are three different three different ways that we can uh, idealize it. Um, so the first is what we call an elastic, perfectly plastic idealization. And essentially, for this curve. We assume that we have an elastic region and a plastic region, and this is our curve. The second uh, idealization is what we call a trilinear approximation. Uh, the trilinear approximation, we have three regions as its name would suggest. We have our elastic region, we have our uh, yield plateau, and then we have an initial uh, strain hardening region. So we uh, in the essentially use one slope for our elastic region and then another slope for our strain hardening region. So this is the trilinear approximation. Uh, the final option is we can just use the complete curve. So for the complete curve, uh, we can model the uh, elastic region just as linear, the yield plateau as uh, you know linear and straight, and then our uh, the final hump we can model uh, either you know using uh, some type of uh, parabolic uh, formula. So typically. For most of our design purposes, what we'll use is the elastic, perfect, perfectly plastic uh, model, just because it's it's simple and it's typically safe. Uh, and I guess for some of the homework assignments, we may get into using both the trilinear approximation and the complete curve. Uh, so just be aware and familiar of different ways to um, actually model the steel.